Today I'm gonna to be making some garlic parmesan chicken legs. Now I've already cleaned them and patted them dry. I've got a Ziploc bag here in a little container because we're gonna let them marinate in the fridge 30 minutes to an hour. So let's get these in here. I'm gonna keep the marinade really simple here. So I'm just using Ken's Greek vinaigrette. So this is uh, pretty good. It's got a bunch of seasoning, a little Parmesan cheese in there, garlic, but we're gonna add a little bit more garlic in the, to, just to get a stronger garlic flavor to it. So I'm gonna pour some of this in here. About a half a bottle here. This is a 16 ounce bottle. So I've got about eight ounces in there. So then I'm gonna take a large clove of garlic here. I'm just gonna shred it in here. I'm gonna use this little fine shredder. And what that does is that'll uh, make it into almost a paste. So we'll be able to uh, incorporate it a little easier. So let's get all that goodness in there. Oh, garlic smell is fantastic. You know, and the vinaigrette, it's got lots of garlic. I can smell the vinegar and all the seasonings that's in that Greek dressing. All right. So now I'm just gonna seal the bag and let's give it a little massage just to get it into the, the skin, underneath the skin and all over it. I'm gonna get that back into this container. I'm gonna take the air out just so we can get those, those uh, flavors just kind of all over the, the chicken. All right, close that up. All right, so I'm gonna get this into the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. Then I'll bring you back and we'll start cooking it. All right, so now this chicken, these chicken drumsticks have been marinating for about a half hour or so. In the meantime, I've already preheated my Ninja Foodi, 400 degrees, for about 10 minutes or so to get it nice and hot in there. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna make sure that these are all padded dry. Make sure we get the chicken all padded down nice and dry. All right, we're gonna open the Ninja Foodi, and we're gonna get them in there. These are four large drumsticks. So try to keep a little space in there. If you have to only do three, then do three. But I'm gonna go for all four here. So now I'm gonna use my little Thermopro, Thermopro thermometer, meat thermometer. I've got it set to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna get it into the thickest piece here. So I'm gonna close the top. Set it to air crisp at 400 degrees. And I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes. 30 minutes here. All right, so now the chicken is about 150 degrees or so. Uh, I'm gonna start basting it uh, a little bit here with some of this clarified butter. And I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano for extra flavoring to the top. And some of this grated cheese. So I'm gonna make kind of a paste to, to throw over the top. So grab the brush, and I'm just gonna baste it a little bit. Okay. So, so now it's still got a little ways to go, so I might baste it a second time here too. So we're still at 156 degrees, temperature's gonna to continue to rise. So I'm gonna let this go probably another 15 degrees or so, baste it one more time, and then let it crisp up uh, right towards the end. Okay, so it's done. It's at about 190 degrees now. So I'm just gonna pull out the thermometer here. Get that aside. So take a look at that. Look how crispy they look. I'm gonna get them on this, this plate here. Look at that, huh? Doesn't that look nice? Beautiful. So get that last one here out. Take a look at that, huh? And that looks gorgeous, gorgeous. So uh, I've got, had a little bit left of that ghee with the uh, with the cheese and the a little bit of garlic in it. So I'm just gonna brush them, brush the rest of it on top, just to give it a little bit of a glaze here, and also to add some flavor. All right, so now I'll let this cool for a few minutes, but I'm dying to dig into this. These look fantastic. So I'm gonna take this top one here, and that butter, oh, that ghee, fantastic. So I'm going in.
Mm. Get that butter flavor right off the skin. That cheese hits you, that garlic, mm, it's fantastic. And that marinade just works wonders to, to tenderize that meat. So I'm gonna finish eating these. Hope you enjoyed this video. Try this recipe, let me know. Give me some comments, some likes, uh, and share the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any other videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.